guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm doing a 4d acrylic rose on just one nail so this is the products that I'm using so this jellish color is absolutely amazing and the brushes on the new bottles of the jellish is a hundred times better than the old I absolutely love how it goes on with these brushes so first off I'll go in and I'll put a coat on a very thin coat and then I'll cure it in my LED lamp for 30 seconds then I'll go in and I'll do a second coat and I do the same again and I'll cure it in my lamp for 30 seconds. So once that's cured I'll go in and I'll use my Halo No Wipe Top Coat. Oh, I love this top coat. It's absolutely amazing. I use the No Wipe Glitter Bowls one on my own nails but I do use this for doing nails like this. And then I'll cure that in my LED lamp again for 30 seconds. So first off I'll go in with my Crystal Nails Mini 3D Brush. As you can see it is absolutely good for 3D work. I'm using Glam and Glitz crash that one <laughs> and here's the nail so I'm using some backing off some alt forms that I've used and I'm just going to put a bead down so I picked the bead up I do drain my beads as well guys I drain a bit of it off on my kitchen roll so I'm just zooming in a bit better for you there guys so you can see also if some of my videos are a bit rocky bear with me it is my new camera I'm using and I'm just patting this out into like a straight line but I'm making sure that I've got enough now that one I wasn't happy with so I go in and I do it again so I place the bead down I'll just pull it down gently and I'm just patting it into place also guys please ignore my dry cuticles I haven't been cuticling on no I should be but I really haven't so I just go in and then I sort of roll it into a ball to give it like that middle of the flower look rose look sorry now this bit you don't want to leave too long because otherwise you're not going to be able to roll it because it will be too set so I only leave it for a few seconds but I do use the one monument from CJP which does set quicker so all depends on your monument guys you can judge your own monument you know it enough so that's just depending on that and I just put a little ball of acrylic to hold the middle in place so next I go in and I do like a croissant shape or half moon shape however you want to say it and I'll just pat that down and I'll just wait for that to set a little bit before I try and tease it gently tease it with the tip of your brush off your nail form and then using the back bit that was sitting on the form you want to stick that end to the rows because otherwise it's not going to stick as good because that's the way it's end is the bottom bit so you want to make sure you use that part so here I'm just doing another petal so I just put the petals down I cut them like a knife with the side of my brush and then I just pat them out into a half moon shape and then I just wait as you can see that one's come up beautifully it was still a little bit wet guys but it worked so as long as it's worked So that is the first petal placed and it is looking beautiful I must say my camera was having a bit of trouble focusing here guys but bear with me and I do pick it up and as you can see I was against the sun and everything I do have blinds where I work but because the sun was that bright it was coming through it was a nightmare so excuse me guys right going again I do exactly the same again I cut it into a half cut it in half like a knife using the side of my brush into a half moon shape and then I pat it out into like a petal shape and then I'll wait for that to set a little bit and then I pick the petal up using the wet east then the bottom of the petal and then I place that round the other bit of the flower so I do exactly the same again so guys what 
uh, what have you all been up to over the weekend um i did do my winners video the other day also i have some more videos i've got quite a few done ready to upload it's just doing the voiceover on them so they're all coming um please like and share my videos as much as you like because i do want to try and hit the thousand so that is my next target and once i hit a thousand i am having an even bigger giveaway and this time it's not little stuff it is something good that's all i'm saying so the video will be done for that soon just in, for when it's done and there will only be one winner on that guys so please make sure you've hit the notification button for when i upload and it doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe to my channel or give me a thumbs up it just helps me so i know that people like my videos so as you can see i'm just doing the same throughout here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave talking to you guys here because it is a long video and then i'm going to meet you back at the end guys so i'll speak to you in a bit bye So I'm back guys, so here I've done all the 4D flower roses now, ready to go on the nail. So I'm just getting my 
nail make clear crystal clear acrylic and I also say get some tweezers because it, you need them to stick them on so I'm just going to stick them on with some acrylic and also guys what is your favorite flower mine's the pink one I absolutely love it but I do wish I never done the red one so I do put some Swarovskis on as well guys so I'm going to leave it here so don't forget to hit the like button give me a thumbs up subscribe and share my channel and all the other good stuff guys and don't forget the most important thing don't let nobody do your sparkle and thank you all for supporting me and you're all my little nail family now and I love you so see you in my next video guys bye